Hello everyone, I am Sarthak Jain from Greater Noida. I am a 13-year-old blogger, YouTuber and have a podcast channel. Coming from a family of academicians and authors, my love for books is quite natural. My mother always encouraged me to pen down my thoughts, no matter how random. She always tried to instill in me the habit of scribbling down on paper rather than on phone or laptop. That is how I developed my reading and writing habits. I thank the jury and the team beyond the box for selecting my story and giving me this wonderful opportunity to narrate it on this amazing platform. So, here's presenting my quirky take on the famous fable, The Lion and the Mouse. But in 2022, once upon a time, there lived the lion, Shere Khan. He loved having mice for meals. After a few weeks, only Chucha was left. When Sher Khan came up to eat him, Chucha begged for his life. Oh, great Sir Khan, what harm have I done to you? I'm the last one of my race, so please do not eat me. Someday I will surely be of help to you, squeaked Chucha. Ho, ho, ho! Look what do we have here. A small creature the size of my paw would help me roared the lion. But nevertheless, I, being the most magnanimous animal in the world, would spare your life. Chucha, sir, Chucha, tweeted Chucha. Yes, yes, I would spare your life, Chucha, bellowed Shere Khan. One day, while hunting, Shere Khan got hunted down by a hunter. He yelled for help, but no animal was ready to help, except for one. Chucha called the news reporters to inform about the capture of the lion. Soon, it seemed as if all the world had come to see the lion. People were flocking in hundreds, clicking photos, making videos and whatnot. Within minutes, the team arrived to record the scene and it became a breaking news. Soon, it was flashing on every news channel. The lion in the net became a point of discussion from the newsrooms to the common man's drawing room. As lion was an endangered species, experts felt that he belonged to the minority community that needed protection against its oppressors. A search party was sent to look for the poacher. Finally, he was arrested from a small hut where he, the only breadwinner of his family, lived with them in the most pathetic conditions. He was apprehended for oppressing a member of the minority community Sher Khan was running high on his sympathy wave created entirely by the media. Hyped by the so-called experts through the debates and discussions and lapped up by the common man. Seeing his rising popularity, the opposition party approached Sher Khan to fight the coming elections. As expected, the minority won by a large majority. He was welcomed at the party head office with great pomp and show. Sher Khan was very happy with his newfound status. As he stood there to give his victory speech, he heard a familiar squeak come from his mane. He instantly recognized it as Chucha's and he remembered his words. Some day, I will surely be of help to you. He smiled and said, Thank you, Chucha. Thank you, everybody. I hope you liked the video. Please like, share and subscribe to Beyond the Box channel for more such interesting content. Bye-bye.